Okay, now see, she didn't say good morning to me. So I put an orange dot on her boarding pass, which means they're going to search her anus. I noticed you also circled a bunch of things on her ticket. Why did you do that? Because otherwise, the line moves too quickly. You see, the whole thing we're going for here at the TSA is a sort of bored fascism. Huh, I think I can handle that. I did not tell you to approach! Great job! The worst thing a passenger can do is approach your podium before you tell them to. As bad as those 19 hijackers were, the people we see here every day are much worse. Boy, Larry, there's a lot to remember. I, I hope I don't screw something up. Trust me, you have nothing to worry about. You're basically unfireable. What do you mean? Come on, Meg. Look around. You're the hottest person who works here. Oh, wow. Now that you mention it, everybody does look kind of dumpy. That's not entirely their fault. They're all told to wear a pair of their dad's pants. Oh, speaking of which, tomorrow, bring in a pair of your dad's pants. Wow, look at the new girl. She's so hot. Yeah, her breasts and her stomach are different parts of her body. I think she looks weird. How come she's not shaped like a potato? That's part of the interview and everything. Whoa, sorry, ma'am. We can't let you through security because you're the bomb. Scott, you're not supposed to make jokes like that. Well, I am carrying more than three ounces of liquid. Oh, that's so Muhammad Hatta. You're playing a dangerous game, Scott. Hey, are you doing anything on Friday? No, I don't think so. Why? Well, I'm doing security at the roller rink if you want to come watch me. Sure. Great. I'll pick you up at 4.30. Sounds good. All right. Well, I'm up at the podium. Time to make marks on pieces of paper no one will ever see again. I thought we had plans on Friday. Marla, I think we should just be ugly friends. What is that? There you are. Listen up, Meg. This TSA isn't sweaty enough for the two of us. What? W what does that even mean? It means stay away from Larry. I'm his girlfriend. You are? Oh, my God. I thought you were a boy. Oh, that's it. I will cut you, bitch. Ow! That hurt a little bit. This ain't over. Larry is mine. What the hell? That was crazy. Like, like crazier than putting cops on segways. Hi, Meg. Larry, what are you doing here? I, I thought we were going to meet at the Toomey store and see who buys luggage at the airport. Meg, I've got some disturbing news. Some gray security tubs have gone missing. Oh, my God. The ones we have a zillion of but are somehow never there when people need them? That's right. And I'm going to have to check your locker. I don't need to tell you how serious this is. Wait, Larry! I was framed! I bet it was Marla! I'm sorry, Meg. You're fired. I'm going to need your small, ridiculous tie. You're firing me? I have a duty to this country. And with people like you stealing tubs, how are we ever going to catch Abu Nazir? That's not even a real person. That's a terrorist from Homeland. And they caught him. Goodbye, Meg. Goodbye, Larry. Meg? I'll miss the way you reminded people about their belts. <laughs> <laughs>